What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are mopping up these two small armies and that are sat to the west of Vienna because we've actually smashed the Austrians and I'm looking to, to do a bit of mopping up considering this is a pretty small force and most of their cavalry will likely um, smash themselves into our line. They should be fairly quick, so let's take them out. We have a force Sieging Vienna, we have this force, which is going to march up to provide support. We've got a force to the south that's going to advance towards Zagreb. We've got a couple of forces to the north, uh, ready to attack that an Austrian territory north of Vienna. However, they do have their super-duper general in that territory, so that could get a bit dicey. Let's put my 12-pounders to the rear. Here. Then let's take... Just no real strategy here in terms of selecting my line. Because they've got a lot of cavalry, I want to keep my light infantry behind and deploy them as I see fit. Hussars and horse guards on either flank. Howitzers deploy in the center to follow the line. Good stuff. Infantry make a Quiet, you should really have checked where those reinforcements are coming in from, but I suspect they're going to be yeah, a good distance away. Get my cavalry wide. They have a large cavalry component, so I'm expecting them to just start charging as soon as we kind of get within range. 12s are opening up on whatever targets they see fit. They're going to aim at the 4th of Lancers. Whatever they're shooting at, looks like they missed and they're going to barrage because we're not going to have that many targets. Ooh. Quite sure where those shots landed. Ah, in here. Yeah, there's a dead cavalryman. God, he got knocked off his horse, didn't he? There's his horse and his body. Yeah, here we go. Enemy cavalry running up, so they're using up some of their precious stamina. They are pretty nice looking cuirassier regiments, but those will be quite easily mopped up when the battle lines are met. Just send my army to advance right up towards them. We don't yet have any incentive to be overtly cautious. There we go. So are these chaps. I just foot infantry. Deutsche Infantry Kader reserves. Deutsche Infantry. Deutsche Infantry Kader reserves. Very well. Let's see when you guys fancy to commit. I might put my put my lights on the right just to make them a bit easier to manage. Oh, another one. Aha, there we go, they've committed. Keep my cavalry wide. Keep an idea, keep a, uh, a view on the 63rd regiment to see if they go for my Infantry first. Charge my light cavalry in first to absorb the lance charge. And then my heavy cavalry to do the count to launch the counter strike. Well, it's probably not going to be needed actually. They withdraw. Oh, the enemy general has. So this. So it seems to be a thing in this mod where the general units just kind of bug out. Because look, if you stood there, they're just going to get shot to pieces and they're not going to complete their charge. So get you men to run up into position. Oh, there goes the enemy general's bodyguard. You guys push up, you guys push up. Should really look at my right flank now, it's probably getting hit. But it isn't. Okay, if they're going to let my infantry get within... Musket range, then I'll take that. That's free kills, although there's a slight defilade here. It's 
Let's advance my line into contact. Anticipate an enemy cavalry charge. So that's why my line infantry are advancing up first. My light infantry stay on the flank. Same with my cavalry, really. Although, yeah, not great cavalry terrain on the right flank. Do you guys fancy your chances? Yeah, they're charging the centre of my line. So you men, you men, you men. Form squares, that will deal with... Definitely the cavalry on the left. The 8th foot guards can probably hold ground, actually. And the 12s to engage. You men form square. Yeah, we're generally to advance because we may. Come on, you fellows. Oh, okay. You hit a general staff. Get my light cavalry over here. You men, get out of your square formations. Charge the enemy line. It seems to me that's what they were intending to do. There's one enemy unit of cavalry in here, and it's just their, it's their general unit, so as long as I keep my general nearby. That's the 32nd routed. Let's fire the howitzers. That's the enemy general killed. These men just begin to advance. This mess here. It's all against the 15th Light Horse, because they're the only ones that are currently standing. Like enemy Grenzers on the left. Actually, let's take you guys. Form up here. That speed, you men. Form up on top of the hill. Speed, you men block off that potential access point, you men block off here. Our men Light. Are running, sir. Ah, the Grenz has made you rout, you pansies. Sick horse guards are attempting to right that wrong. So you men drop into square, you'll absorb most of the damage. There we go, my heavies are in. Actually, you guys lost a lot of men. Keep attacking this Grenzer company. Then you'll go after that Jaeger company. We've routed one cavalry unit. There's still the 5th regiment on the right. You men cease fire. Those Grenzers probably aren't going to come back. Go after those Jaegers to make sure they don't rout you as well. Well, get these squares to get out of formation in advance, see if you can lure them in. And we can. So here come the sixth light horse, no, the sixth horse guards into my squares. To be honest, you men can just... Continue the advance. Don't need to be coy. Uh, it's their artillery. Yeah, it is. Not that they'll have very much of that left over soon. So you men... Form up. Horse guards trot up towards that flank. Yeah, these guys are exhausted. So part of me really does wonder that if the AI just doesn't really get how stamina works with this mod, because it's really, really easy to burn all of your stamina. And based on how the AI typically does things, it kind of doesn't make sense that they sprint everywhere all the time. I 
putting you guys deploy to square? Oh, well, the 56th will see off the 7th. Yep, they're broken and exhausted immediately. My horse guards can attack there. 5th Regiment of Horse Chevalier, Reg number 3 O'Reilly. He means O'Reilly. Yeah, they are orally men, if you guys have seen only... Not only four songs, it's Faulty Towers, that's the one. Okay, so... I haven't moved my howitzers up because there's no point. To be honest, the end is very, very much near. Just push. Push my numbers up quick. So I can surround and engage this last militia unit and knock out this gun team. These cavalry are pretty irrelevant. I mean this regiment of foot is probably not going to stick around very long either. Okay they're going to charge on into the militia just because this cavalry unit not, is deciding not to engage them. Actually, all of you. Just be real lazy. Get everyone into the combat. Keep my general up close. The artillery are gone, militia are gone. It's this cavalry unit. The of fatigue, it's the sir, only thing rescue. still fighting. So let's probably speed this up because it looks like they are just going to be frustrating and run away from us or not really sir. Sir, engage in the action. Oh, there we go. I was concerned they would slowly trot away from my lines and nothing would really happen. There we go. We lost 300 men. They lost 1,200, so hopefully that's both of these armies destroyed. Well, one withdrew. That's not so bad. You men can go north to try to cover the bridge. You're replenishing quite nicely here. You guys are holding just to see what happens down to the south. We're going to take Vienna first, then squeeze, because Olmutz... pretty sure it's Olmutz. Oh, no, there he is. That's their general. So you've got two armies here ready to rock and roll. You were originally going to... Actually, you're probably going to deploy down to here. The idea is this army can then... Once you move on to Budapest, it can support the breakout towards Klausenberg. And then help push out through the Carpathian Mountains in towards... But then Berg and Iessi into Moldova. Good. Otherwise, lots of what we're doing is currently going to be quite static. You're waiting to move out. Promise we have taken Athens pretty nicely without a fight actually for once so you guys are going to push up but not aggressively so because then this army is going to is going to embark and then be transported to Athens two are going to march towards Istanbul one is going to march towards Belgrade to support operations here then probably head east towards Bucharest you're advancing towards Zagreb Vienna is quite weakly defended but let's get you're probably within range now. Ah, let's just take Austria. Let's just take out... Let's just take out Vienna, because we know it'll have to be done sooner or later, and the army's pretty weak. So Mr. Skjoldebrand is going to take the lead. This man that was pivotal in our war against the French early on is now going to take the Austrian capital, uh, hold on to it to maintain public order, and then head eastward ready to plunge into the Russian interior. My six pounders are going to join the line. Probably going to advance up to this hill and fire down. Oh, to be honest, that's probably both. All of my guns actually are probably going to go up to that terrain feature, then advance down it. So let's put my foot guards and some in Delta ready to advance ahead of that position, ahead of my artillery to provide some cover. The rest of my regular line advance up to the left. How it's to support them. Foot Jaeger on the left. I mean, I've got some incredibly elite cavalry here. This is a battle hardened army here. Yeah, I want my guns on the hill and my men to advance. 
past the guns so we don't receive too much friendly fire. So that will do for now. You men can advance towards that threat. You men can advance towards that threat. So right now my main battle line is currently without cavalry. But with plenty of artillery support plus the support of their general. It's just a Lancer unit. This over here is a Jaeger company, so skirmisher. Get my light horse up front. Switch them with my heavies. Because my light troop, my light cavalry, they do take more damage when being charged, but at the same time, they it's my my heavy cavalry that really come into their own later on in the battle. But it looks like they've not been able to successfully charge, so my light cavalry will probably attack and pursue them, allowing my cuirassier to continue up towards the front line. Might be the same story here as well. Although there's lots more. These are both light infantry units. Foot Jaeger, get them to advance. The men pursue the fourth lancers. It looks like I wonder if the better decision is to take foot guard unit, then my sixes, deploy them into the line. The regiment of foot deploy twelve pounders deploy them and then I got my guns are in the lines it looks like we've got a more okay, my light... okay you guys knock out a Jaeger company you guys hold towards this regiment of militia but not excessively so okay, you're good I mean, yeah, they're, they're probably not gonna stick around there's only five left so push up Newman break the militia. Newman continue to engage the Jaeger company. And Newman knock out the militia. And Newman recover. My infantry is going to run. So you guys are attacking these local partisans who are wavering. And then my Latragun Latragunir continue to attack and they're going to route through my cavalry unit, which is perfect. Foot guards are going to be ready to engage. My horse guards are going to engage that regiment of militia. Get my 12s to Limber, switch them to Canister Shot already. See you men a mass charge. 14th Regiment of Militia. Okay, we are engaging the enemy. My sixes aren't yet in full position. You guys have hit the militia. Very well, I think with that militia unit, the enemy is actually not going to have much protection on their flank, so let us push up our troops on their flank. Unlimber, canister shot, you men barrage. Close range, blasting them with canister shot. You men can both advance towards that regiment of partisans. You've knocked out that unit of infantry there. Get all my cavalry to mass towards the rear because my infantry line can fix the enemy. My howitzers and limber and begin firing at will. New troops pivot. 
both you men mass on the partisans. You men barrage canister shot into the trees. Just about make out some Austrians in the distance. But we are going to clear out some of the enemy here. Make no mistake of that. Large enemy concentration on the road. The howitzers will do some work against them. Enemy partisans on the flank have been nullified. These men are these are routing militia that are bumping into my Valvade infantry. And a Skoldebrand, get over here quickly. We may have a deliberate enemy incursion on the left flank, but this is why I've got all my cavalry over here. If they want to test us, they will not find us wanting. But I would like. Sir! Sir! Our general Ooh. is under attack! No, Anders, no! So these three men are going to ban it, charge the partisans. This is why I want Anders nearby to provide morale support, because bayonet charges can be quite risky. That partisan unit has been broken. Continue the bayonet charge. This is when it starts to get... You really start to get some momentum going. Our oh, bayonet fighting in the trees. Two units of militia, no less, against their partisans. One of these units is an elite unit of militia. Okay, let's not go mad. Let my militia reform the line. You may also try help engage the Grenadiers. You guys have to hit the Partisans. Apart from that... You guys focus on the 11th. You can knock them out. You guys keep hitting the 13th. You've hit that Partisan unit. This is their General unit and it's a Grenadier unit. So you can't be too careful when it comes to attacking them. They're a neat looking grenadier unit with smashing tashes. Yeah, that partisan unit's down. Slice a few of them down before charging the 16th because then the lifeguard... Oh, okay, right. You, the guns, ceasefire. Let's take two units of infantry and continue the advance. You men attack the 11th. The general's unit has been destroyed. Horse guards attack the militia. These two units can hit that partisan unit. That would allow you men to pressure the flank of that unit before charging in yourself. To be honest, the end is nigh. All artillery, all batteries. For some reason, my I couldn't choose to limber up, so I couldn't choose to cease fire. So we're just going to limber up. Everybody is moving in. Deutsche Grenadier unit. Mr. Skoldebrand getting nearer to this unit of grenadiers. You hit that militia unit, you men. She goes probably want to charge these guys too. Broken, broken. These grenadiers are holding the line. The general staff is here. He's going to rally and inspire his men. 
He's very close to the Grenadiers, but I didn't really need to charge him in. Until now, he can try and get a couple of kills. But ultimately, we surrounded them and destroyed them in a decisive melee fight. Oh, we lost 200 men. They lost their 241. They lost their entire garrison. Both of those armies too, which is perfect. Peacefully occupy Vienna. Get the buildings repaired. You guys can replenish. You guys can push up to coal the bridge. You guys, you guys can't cross here, can you? We've gone through this, so you men get nearby because there is a Prussian army here. I want to see what they do. Secret society. Yeah, let's upgrade it to a Masonic Lodge. Let's get rid of the university. And my spy push on to Belgrade. Oh, she knows that where you're going. No, you're just maintaining visibility near Hungary. You can push on towards Klausenberg. Let's get the this dockyard to start preemptive recruiting a sloop to occupy Trieste. Well, not preemptively, actually, we just need to. Okay, you're okay. So the university is going down. Vienna secured. Roads are being upgraded. Everyone's reorganizing. Good. We're soon be ready to squash all moots. I'd like to put this garrison here at Zagreb under siege first. I mean, they won't be completely destroyed. They do have a little force back, a city back here in Transylvania. Elsewhere, though, I think we're just going to... To be honest, I'm probably going to want to start moving guys over towards Finland rather than vice versa. <laughs> well, there, actually, that's... The guts of quite a nice army recruited there. Well, actually, that, that completes your army. Yeah, you're going to stay there. The Russians aren't going to jump on us just yet. And if they do, we can jump on them. Because we've got three full stacks ready to rock and roll. Including one spy unit in Petersburg. So we know if we attack this city, it will fall very quickly. I probably want to push on hit Novgorod at the same time. I mean, that would be the key bridge to hold. Right there. Any forces that come from Moscow, if they want to make make pace towards the northern front. They have to cross this bridge here. Okay, let's hit end turn. Let's see how the world responds to our offensive. I mean, they didn't really do anything. Then again, there's not really a lot they can do. I mean, Russia's got to be acutely aware of what's happening to it. We're gobbling up our enemies one at a time, consolidating our front lines, and uh, they're going to be a bit buggered. Okay. Recruitment. Lots of recruitment in Finland. Recruitment in Sweden. Okay, you guys just, you guys stay where you are. Okay. You're ready to be here for reinforcements. We do want to attack Olmutz. I mean, I'm uneasy about that Prussian force in the trees, especially when we attack them, it will be via ambush. So I am okay to let my troops consolidate. You men push towards Zagreb. Maintain the siege for now. You're nearly replenished. You can push up towards Patras. And this cavalry unit can shift up towards Mr. Zetisburg. The Navy disembark their army. I mean, this it might have been smarter to sail an army towards Istanbul, but yeah. You men are both going to advance towards... Actually, okay, you guys might advance together towards the new front. Whoa! Okay, you're going to go all the way around. Exploring officer. Plus 10% line of sight, plus 2% campaign movement range. Nice! Okay, you guys advance towards Istanbul. This force here can actually advance towards Belgrade, although... Because he sat on the bridge, everyone's auto-rooting around him. 
Let's see what awaits us at Belgrade. A few armies, but nothing significant. I want to know. Okay, I might keep you under siege until one of these armies is slightly closer to Belgrade. I mean, I'm taking it, taking it cash because we've got almost infinite means to do to make this campaign come out exactly the way we want. There is no research. Okay, the Russians are coming. Klausenberg is garrisoned. Bluka. Come on, just... I should redeploy my guys in a counter-ambush position, if that's even possible. Deploy them in a position where the passage towards the ironworks is within our control zone. Maybe. Especially the Austrians seem completely unwilling to do anything about it. Where are you going? Is that the first amphibious uh, assault we've actually seen? Let's see if I can get, get my small frigate fleet over here because there hasn't really been a need for much of a navy. Just keep recruiting 38 gun frigates quite sure where they are. Wherever they can land, it's not a huge problem. We can redeploy one of these armies to deal with it. Actually, you guys may even stay where you are. Do not advance towards Belgrade. You might actually even stay embarked on your ships, ready. Mr. Zetisberg, send two armies up towards Istanbul. How long are you eligible to be left behind? Minus seven, certainly not. I don't think, don't think there is really a, a happiness building like there is an empire. Just go for a supply depot, I suppose. We now have two armies here, or three armies. So Kurt von Stedink and Laj Kruk. question is, is it, will we be intercepted? Maybe is the answer to that. If I can move you guys. Just so that the, the mines are within my within their control zone. So if they advance, we can intercept them and destroy the Prussians. And they shouldn't go too far because you've got Mr. Bengston here to the west. But if we... I wonder if we'll get intercepted. Let's find out. So if I shift you guys to just out of the way... And you men to attack the city... <laughs> okay. So we get intercepted by the stupid little force out here that includes their super duper general, Karl von Ostrichtischen, with a bunch of other troops, including some pretty good troops. Very well. We will engage you in the open field. Then we will take your city and you will suffer the consequences of resistance. We will probably will need to put our artillery in the line. I may even... Oh no, it's not going mad. It's actually quite a nice defensive position. Okay, that's quite not a bad position. So in general... There isn't anything to suggest that anything, anything's going to be particularly different. I'd like to defend this hill, realistically. So what I'm going to do is just deploy my line and then deploy my... and then do any fine-tuning that needs to be done. Um, while the battle is ongoing. Ultimately, maneuver takes so long in this game that you don't you don't really need to make massively 
complicated plans. If they elect to push cavalry into our line, then they are welcome. I doubt they will. Especially their super general. I might even put my 12s here so that these units can thicken up a bit. Okay, there we go. Enemy reinforcements are coming from a direction that is wholly expected. Push up the howitzers. So the general is... Yeah, there he is. Archduke Charles. He's on the move. Keep the cavalry wide. Is this the garrison coming in? It's going to take a while for their infantry to get here, and by the time they do get here, all of the cavalry they've dumped on the field will be destroyed. You have a go with the light horse. Not a single casualty. We may still, well, we, we, will, we will likely then have to advance if we wish to dislodge the enemy. Militia form your block, delta form square infantry. Run up. Militia that can form the pike block, fire it will off. Horse guards fall upon the light horse. I got my pike block as fire it will off so they don't do too much damage. If they try to charge my infantry, which it looks like they are going to. You men drop into square to make sure that happens. The militia are charging us at close range, hiding in the woods. So here come the eleventh light horse, but they've hit my squares. There comes the there's the militia, they've exposed themselves. So my infantry can begin firing. Just was Archduke Charles. He's, he's gone back. I should much pull my horse guards back. I'm willing to let them well, I want them to charge my cavalry. The fools. Especially these guys, these are my grenadiers. There you go, pulled my cavalry back. Their cavalry is going for my infantry. That militia unit that is pushing against my line. My gunners have something to say to them. You men can advance up on the flank. You guys can advance towards where the next batch of enemy are going to come from with a bit of cavalry support. So they're broken. The 12th are soon to be broken. You guys just keep blasting the 5th regiment with canister shot. The limit how much of that they can deal with. They go, they're broken. Let 
push my infantry up here. Serve as a bit of bait. And there's some more infantry, in, enemy reinforcements, but they're all infantry. Fifth light horse, fourth regiment light horse. There's Archduke Charles. I do want him. These troops could probably do with pushing up a bit. Fourth Regiment. Fancy the chances, so let's re anchor my flank so they don't get caught out. My light horse and heavy cavalry can engage the 11th because they've returned into the field. The 12th are also here, but my my cavalry are able to engage them individually, at least off the bat, and they are exhausted as well, so they're likely to run into trouble. Their cavalry's finally butted up into my squares. My militia might ex take some of the charge. But there goes the 5th Light Horse, the 4th Regiment of Horse are also shaken. Yeah, I lost the infantry, it's just going to be too far away to help. My cavalry push on and attack the 12th light horse. New men act as bait for the 8th horse guards. I mean this battle over here, this line over here, Austrian militia charged me and their charge broke. And my militia are able to do some good damage to the flank of these charging cavalry units. So you men do, 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 advance down the hill. Here comes more cavalry, they can't help it. Artillery, round shot, engage. Okay, that's more enemy cavalry. My, okay, you, my light dragoons are tired, but they're still kicking. My horse guards hit their horse guards. It's a general staff there, but there is a, the general. Archduke Charles himself is somewhere around here, but he's hidden. But I am going to counter charge the eighth light horse in the flank. You men just keep pouring fire into their flank. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I don't give a damn. How oh, it's a shot coming in. Oh, hit that cavalryman off his horse before the shell blew up. Last two Charles is booking it. He's aware of what's going on. Oh, he got they got they're getting flown off their horses. Nice. You men form a nice line. Ooh. Horse guards try and withdraw. My lights hold. Their horse guards have done a lot of damage. If I can withdraw my horse guards from the right flank at the cost of my light horse, that would be still advantageous. Our men are running, sir. Keep running, horse guards. They might pursue you, but they'll pursue you into a square. So then, elsewhere... Continue the advance up the hill. There we go, and that's that's worked nicely. One of the general staffs advanced into our square. My horse guards can pull back and recover. You men cease fire. You're gunning down our 
infantry. My delts are encouraged because the general's nearby. You men are very tired. So my cavalry can counter charge. Get my 12s upon the hill. It's the 13th light horse that's still around. Withdraw the cavalry. It would be nice to try and more decisively beat the light horse, but I don't think we're going to get that opportunity. Now the light horse are charging, it would be good to just have them both be knocked out. Let's push my militia up. Then we're general up into the centre again, because it's unlikely that they are going to have that much power again. Let's try and get my horse artillery up to the new position. I want to advance up into the positions that the enemy previously held. My light horse have come back, so bring them back wide. Make my pikes form a little pike square with fire at will on. It looks like they're going into the flank of the 27th regiment, so you men then drop into square. Where's the other howitzer? Okay, you men push up to the left, because that's where they're going to need most fire support. When these guys are knocked out, that's all the cavalry on the right defeated. Some quite elite cavalry as well. They're probably not going to be defeated permanently. We're going to need to keep an eye on them if they, in case they don't fully with retreat. Enemy hidden units, that's a skirmisher. Howitzer and Limber begin unleashing fire because that's a hidden unit that we can't really deal with. Sixth Regiment of Horse, Austri Austrian Chevrolet, not Aust Australian Chevrolet. Can you men drop into square because they are asking to charge you or to be charged? Send Hussar Regiment wide to tr get ready to try and hunt down. There you go, Pike Form Pike Square as well. You're going to go wide to hunt down Archduke Charles. Okay, you are going to just get over there somewhere. So you men are going to provide cover. Get the infantry trying to flank. Okay, you men need to start to curl up onto the flank here. We've got our horse artillery. Although I fear it may well be useless. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Uh, where's my other howitzer unit? They're still on, on their way. Uh, 12s, not a great position for the 12s. Where's my... Oh, I've got my... Yeah, my cover on the right is too depleted always. Von Doblin. Counter charge the 5th Regiment of Militia because they're getting too close. See them off. You men are limber. Canister shot off the bat. More enemy reinforcements coming in, but they're not likely going to be able to help. Especially as I've got cavalry skirting around. Although you might want to go hit the Austri Austrian. I oh, nearly did it again. Austrian Chevalier. That's the cavalry on the right flank. Knocked out. So let's just begin to generally move people up. No, don't hit the square. 
you men push. Cavalry, advance out wide. Lightfoot, eh? My light guards want to say hello to you. My lifeguards, I should say, want to say hello. Where's our astute Charles? There he is. Get in here, light horse. Okay, so they're skirmishes. They should fall quite quick because we've got these are my foot guards that have charged them. Which are musket battle into the centre. They did manage to hit our line of militia. Get over here. Kill Archduke Charles. It's the light foot destroyed. You men fall back. Horse guards form up again. You men storm into the Grenzer company. Unlimber my horse artillery. You men storm the militia. Get up here, General. You men also attack Archduke Charles. Cannot let him get away. Go down. Take him out. Don't let him. Don't let him get away. Good stuff. Excellent. It's the enemy line broken. Form up our new line. My 12s can push up. Alright, stay in. Keep my. Get my general. Nearby in the centre is be more likely gonna do gonna do another bayonet charge into the 18th. So these are bayonet charges even with militia. Our men are running, sir. Oh, a light horse unit came back. Didn't spot that. Oh well. You meant bayonet charge the 18th regiment of foot. This could be a bit dicey. You men form up, ready for the next fight. Got my general nearby. We will get ready to drop some support. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest I'm sure they are fatigued. Just my general don't give a damn. You men form line. There we go. There's the enemy. Retreat. You men form up. There we go. So this militia unit just dumped themselves into square. That saw off the 13th light horse. Pity it cost me the 71st to withdraw. Okay, so 12s get up here. Howitzers redeploy a bit more equally. Keep my horse guards back because they're taking too many easy losses. So my horse artillery is going to pound the left flank. My large cavalry arm needs to keep deploying out wide. Keep manoeuvring my line. So you guys, round shot, blast the enemy infantry there. I hope you're not going to just kill that crewman. Lucky SOB. Okay, the Migrenza company is in position. Redeploy my cavalry on the left. Hey, these infantry units did return. Who are you? 
Ungarishian infantry. Garrison infantry, I would suppose. Not that I speak a word of Austrian. New men push up. New men charge the 10th light foot. Get the howitzers unlimbered. General is under attack. He's not getting under attack. He's not under attack. He's just being. They're just missing. That's all. Oh, Deutsche Grenadier. Although they are forming square, but we are fighting a Grenadier regiment that isn't forming square at the moment. Slaughter the tenth light foot. Cause them to shatter. Hopefully. She looks like they are. No, don't fight that. That's silly. They bring my cavalry into place to attack the 10th Lightfoot. Get my general over on the right flank. Some of these units are very upset. Cavalry can hit the 16th. This howitzer attack 31st. Six pounders attack them. The 12s are getting up into position on the high ground. Okay, good. So now we can make our line a bit more homogenous. So we're currently still going to be fighting on the reverse slope. But we've got a lot of artillery backing up our left flank. My light cavalry on the right have... I oh, think because they got caught. They got caught and continued the engagement. My cavalry need to recover. So you guys smack them. You, well, smack the concentration. You may yet see an enemy bayonet charge. Maybe get my general back over onto this flank. Uh, not the cavalry. There's one unit we've managed to push back. 12 pounders and limber. Grenadiers are deploying against my general's bodyguard. That's a good... Not general's bodyguard. My uh, lifeguards. German grenad... Oh. Austrian grenadiers at point-blank range. Bayonet charge them. Inspire my men. New men push up ready to hit the 18th regiment. New men hit the 10th, because if this works, we're going to turn the left flank. The men of fatigue, sir, and must Retarget rest the artillery. There we go. We've won that contest. Push on, hit the 5th Grenadiers. And the militia push up onto the flank of the 19th. Two grenadier units pushing the 18th. Keep my general nearby. The enemy left flank is crumbling. Our men are running, sir. My ah, they they broke. Well, lots of guys broke. Okay, my push on the right flank isn't going to be as much of it. Is going to be? It's not going to be as decisive as I hoped. But even so, you men can continue attacking the troops that remain. The other flank is quite decisively won. 
The man of fatigue, sir, and must rest away. I don't give a damn about fatigue. That's why so many of them run. I mean, some of them might come back. Get my general over here. You men! Just attack this unit that's retreating towards your direction. Throw the cavalry into the field. Throw the infantry into the maelstrom. Artillery cease fire. The men of the team, sir, and must rest a while. See, they came back. That was just a little wobble. Get my general over here to boost at the 22nd Horse Guards. Push on and attack the 4th Grenadier Regiment. Don't think we need much of a morale saving unit over here. Go, the Grenadiers are gone. So with the Grenadier unit gone, it goes. Oh, I don't care if our men run. What matters is that their men run. Just as long as our bayonet charge doesn't bounce off them. By the rate at which the Grenadiers are dying, I don't think it will. Yeah, there they go. Excellent. So we've taken the field quite conclusively there. We did take uh, some losses of our own, but that's that garrison, well, the bulk of the garrison, destroyed. We did, I mean, they did generate, they do generate a new free garrison unit, but we now have this army that's fresh, ready to push forward in a large crook to attack Old Moods. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Sweden. Cheers, everyone.